Assalamu alaikum viewers, I'm Muhammad Rizwan from Islamabad and today I have a very uh, uh, good uh, author, poet uh, from Turkish, he's our guest here. Uh, I would like to ask you some questions uh, from him. Sir, uh, first of all, thank you very much for giving me a time. Uh, 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 thank you very much. Uh, you was, uh, speak about Kashmir, uh, you will speak about humanity in the world and Muslims and especially Kashmir. It's very uh, surprising for us that uh, you told you from the childhood you are listening, uh, uh, listening about the Kashmir. So what do you think, uh, what is the solution of Kashmir? Yeah, actually there is no easy solution So because the issue is very complicated. Because you know, in, in the past there was there was India, but after separation, before British people left, you know, maybe deliberately, consciously, they left a problem so that you know, well, India and Pakistan could lose the energy, and you know, then the Western countries can still maintain their domination over these lands. So for, what, what we need to know, of course, we need to highlight the issue in every level, in every platform. So first of all, we need to conquer hearts. We need to conquer hearts. And for that, you know, there, there are many different things that we can do. We need to conquer hearts. And for that, you know, there, there are many different things that we can do, uh, you know, we can tell the people in the social media, we can be active. When we hear some stories, maybe, maybe we can try to separate. You are talking about social media and all these things. Yeah. Uh, in your speech, uh, you were telling that uh, there's all the social media networks like Twitter, Facebook and others. Uh, there's a big lobby from the India who captured that social media wings. So uh, how we can uh, make on the social media that if all these things are uh, with the Indian hands. Yeah, the biggest problem, you know, the, the majority of social media users come from Muslim countries. When Muslims are really united, and imagine that Muslims really in a united way, they, they started protesting the social media. I could tell you that in a short time they would go bankrupt. But when you see, when, when you explore social media, you see Pakistanians, you, you see Turkish people, most of the time they are just dealing with some trivial, with some petty things. Right? Exactly, so, exactly. So they don't highlight the truth. So that's why, first of all, we need to conquer ourselves. Because, you know, I, I talk about the enemy within. So that's, that's the most difficult enemy to struggle with. So we need to reform ourselves, to reform ourselves. Exactly. And the things are going to start changing because I think that before there was Soviet Union, when they occupied Afghanistan, yep, there exactly. was almost no hope. But then what happened to the Soviet Union because of Afghanistan, because, you know, they have received a defeat, then You're right. the Soviet Union was disintegrated. Exactly. Right? Uh, one thing, uh, uh, all Pakistanis love Turkey. Uh, as Turkey is a good friend of Pakistan. So uh, you are a poet, you write a very good things, uh, songs for the Kashmir. Uh, what would you like to give message to Pakistani nation? I mean, for, for Pakistani people, of course, we Turkish people, we love Pakistani people a lot. We have tremendous affection for Pakistan. I believe that Pakistan and, and Turkey, they should rise when they rise and when they collaborate the things are going to change. See, I have also written a song about Karabakh. So 30 years later, Karabakh was emancipated. So it has received freedom. And we hope that after Karabakh, the next, you know, country, the next land will be Kashmir, which is going to get its, its freedom, Thank inshallah. You. Thank you very much. Uh, he was a poet, a Turkish poet, our guest here. Thank you very much, Turge. Everyone, uh, inshallah, we will meet you somewhere else. Yeah, inshallah. Thank you. Inshallah.